Fourth time's the charm, and that's the one that matters most, doesn't it? Yeah, that, I mean, they're an unbelievable team. They're very good. And mentally for us to kind of get over that hurdle against Campbell and, and show up the way we did today, um, getting down early in the first quarter and, and the resolve that we had in the second quarter, we were great defensively second quarter and gave ourselves a chance in the second half. So just very proud of the girls. What was going wrong there early when you were down 14-3? to three? We just were flustered a little bit, and we didn't settle in yet, and kind of had butterflies, I think, and we, were making, we weren't making reads in our, on our offense. We were kind of guessing on stuff, but the girls settled in and, and bought into what our game plan was, and we had a lot of kids step up. Um, defensively, again, we were great in the second quarter, but they were doubling Mesa, and we kind of recognized that, and we had kids make shots when they were open. You know, Avery shot the lights out today. Cam hit big ones. Um, it just was, it's a, it was a team effort. We had to have everybody. We had them. You had that hot finish there in the second quarter. How'd you try to make sure that you didn't have the big letdown coming out of halftime? Well, we just talked at half about how we got through that quarter because we were really good defensively. Um, we got after them a little bit, and our defense turned into offense. Um, and we tried to carry that through the second half. And Campbell came in, and they made a lot of shots. And Cammy Curtis finishes with dang near 30, I think. Um, but we limited everybody else. We were great on the basketball. Um, it, it was our defense that carried us through the game. Obviously, we shot the ball well, but we had to get stops, and we got them. As much as nobody likes to lose, was maybe losing that regional championship game kind of a blessing in disguise because considering how the state bracket was shaped and how you went through it? We had to beat really good teams to win, and we knew that regardless. Um, so whoever we got the first round, second round, third round, we knew we were going to have to be good teams, and, and the kids stepped up and did that. Considering three years ago this team only won nine games, didn't even make state tournament two years ago as well, and fell short in third place last year. I mean, how have you seen this program kind of turn around? Well, Addie and Allie inherited a program with two wins the year before. They come in and they work their tails off that summer and we go nine and 15, but we take third at state. We win big games down the stretch. And they kind of got a feel for that. Um, but they just, they never stopped working. Adeline and Allie came in and shot for the last four weeks, three, five weeks, they came in and shot and made 700 shots a, a, a week in the morning, right? They just, they don't know how to stop working and they had a goal and they continued to work towards that goal and they deserve everything. I'm very proud of them.